Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new, my name is Olivia and in today's video I'm going to be doing a couple different wrap styles. I'm going to start off with the wrap I wore on Friday and totally should have shot the video for um, but managed not to get the get the camera set up. Then I'm going to move on to um, today's wrap style. Now couple of things. Please forgive the sound of the dryer going in the background. I'm finishing up the linens for Alyssa when she goes back to college tomorrow and I'm going to be having my little monsters in the room. They're running back and forth feeling all clingy because they know something's going on. Um, we're packing up and stuff and they know something's going on so they're all they're clinging extra today. Okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna get wrapping. Um, and for, for starters, I've got on my Wendy. This is my very first Wendy. It's, I'm gonna say mostly stuffed. Um, probably with my hair, it would probably equal fully stuffed, but I'm not quite sure anymore how much stuffing should be in here. So it's, it's approximately fully stuffed Wendy. Now the scarves that I used on Friday are, oops, no, you don't need to be there, are the Baroness Scarf. Now this one is one that I haven't worn in a long time, um, but I do I do like it. It's, it is a favorite, I just haven't worn it. It has this beautiful gold trim, and then this lovely wine color, oops, I just dropped that, wine color center. It's like a wine or a dark red. And then I have the Shimmery, in navy blue. Now this is just navy blue. There's, It's not the navy blue with the um, silver sparkles in it. It's just the plain old navy blue. Now I did wear this with a beautiful brooch, this guy here. And um, oh my goodness, okay. This is a really easy style. This is a double beginner's lock. I just do them at an angle. So what I did, is I took this to size this scarf, oh my goodness, guys, size this scarf to my head. Um, I folded up a little a little piece, just grabbed, grabbed down here, and I folded up a little bit. That's not necessary for this. It, it doesn't change anything. So I probably just won't do it today to streamline things. Now when I put it on my head, I want one long tail and one short tail. So it's uh, slightly off center is what it ends up being. And I'm going to place it just like so. And I want to have it at the angle like this. I'm going to gather up at the back, tie a knot so that the short end comes out on the bottom. like so. Now I'm going to cheat this back a little bit because I want it at an angle. Okay, just like so. Now I'm going to do the same thing the opposite direction with the shimmery. And I want to make sure I haven't taken I haven't taken off this tag yet. And I do not think that I have scissors handy. So I'm going to just leave it and try to make sure it's not showing. Okay. For the shimmery, I am going to fold over a little teeny tiny bit in the front and I'm going to place it on so that the long tail, I'm going to place it on off center so that the long tail comes out on the same side as this long tail. So I have this on at the opposite angle. I am going to take this tail, bring it underneath. I'm gonna test it to see what's about right. Okay. And then I'm going to tie the knot in the back here, just like this. And I wanna make sure that the knot is up here and not on top of this one. I want it over here, not not on here. Okay. 
All right. So now what I can do here is I can roll a little bit of this, not all, not all of it. As I did this on Friday, I took this and I took a little bit underneath. Just gives it a little bit more of a refined look. It's not necessary, but since I did it, I thought I would just continue here. Okay, so. All right. Now for this Baroness scarf, I did not fold it. I wanted to have the gold visible on the back and on the front. So I kept it open as much as possible when bringing it up and over. I just had to scrunch the, scrunch the center a little bit, just like this, and I brought it over at the angle. And I adjusted this here. Now the one thing I forgot to say about the shimmery is that when I put the shimmery on, there are two different sides to the shimmery. There's a rough side and then there's a smooth side. I always put the rough side down so that it will grasp the scarf that's underneath of it. If I'm layering them, even if I'm not layering them, um, having the rough side down is, is helpful. Um, and when the, when you're just doing a wrapping, words, when you're just wrapping with the shimmery, if you have two of the, the shiny sides together, they tend to slip and slide so the wrap sometimes falls off. So just a thing I forgot to mention, but something that I found helpful. Okay. All right, so I get to this point and I have this at a nice angle. Okay, just fussing to make sure it's nice and neat. I'm going to take the navy shimmery and I'm going to tie the knot. Now, typically when I tie a beginner's lock, I bring up and over, but I did not want to take a chance on making this really super bulky or um, covering up this beautiful piece of gold. So I tied the knot and I brought around the back and I tucked in this way. because was, it was easier to control where the tucking happened. Okay. okay. And then of course, adjust to make it nice and neat. Okay. Now I'm going to fold this guy and thirds, so shimmery folded into thirds. I wanted to make I want to make it like a sash to go down the center. Now I want to be able to see some of the some of the wine color and the gold. Let's see if I can grab the correct scarf, pull it forward. Okay, I don't want to cover it all up, but I don't need to see all of it. So I'm going to bring this down the center. You could probably do the same thing by just bunching it up. Now I'm going to grab the Baroness scarf, do the same knot, and I'm but I'm making the knot higher, like so. So you can see you've got, don't wanna cover that knot up. You've got the knot here and the knot here. Now I'm gonna bring this around the back and try to tuck this in neatly. Okay. And that's what I have. And then the pin can go anywhere in here. Okay, just like this. 
Okay, so this is the wrap and it's easy peasy. Um, it just looks super complicated because this guy here has this gold and the, the wine color. So it's all about the scarf with this styling. All right, now for today's wrap, I'm wearing, I'm wearing this cool shirt. Um, and I'm just wearing a pair of leggings. I'm not leaving the house today. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of packing to help with. So I wanna be comfortable and have a good range of most, a good range of motion. Oh my goodness. I love bug. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So when I got the notification, and this is a little bit of a story, when I got the notification of the new, um, new Rapunzel kit with the cornerstone, the cornerstones and the watercolor dreams, water, no, water, with the, uh, with these scars, <laughs> I can't think of the name. I, I had it in my head two seconds ago. It was uh, the, it's the tough two in one that's got the, the, the tie dye effect or the, the water, the water effect. Um, so <laughs> my brain is, is I'm over, I'm overwhelmed and I have to apologize. I'm, I'm overwhelmed so many things in my head to think about. Um, so I apologize in advance for not, I should have written this stuff down. I didn't even think about it. Um, but anyway, these are, this is not a set that's available, um, but it reminded me that I do have the berries, the ba strawberry, the berries um, and cake one back here in my, in my collection. Oh my goodness. But um, I did have this really, really beautiful one and I was like, oh, I could wear it with the green, but I think this is too matchy matchy. It's been kind of one of those days that I would wear it with something else, not with this. So I went and I said, instead of doing a copycat um, of the new new kits um, in scarf type, I'm going to take this cornerstone that was a gift from my good friend, Frida Hanna, and I'm going to put it with a New York Brights in this beautiful green with the, um, with all the colors, because I think totally goes with my colors here. So I'm just going to do a Yael twisty wrap um, with some small tails on this side because I like, I'm liking the tails a little bit. Um, and I think it'll dress up my whole t-shirt and um, leggings kind of look today. All right, so for this look, I'm just folding over this guy here, not so much. And I'm putting it on with a with a really tiny tail and a long tail. So, because I don't want the tail to be super, super crazy big. Like so. Okay. No crazy big tail. And I think that's, I think that's good. Because once I tie the knot in the back, it'll shorten it just a tad. Just like so. Okay, now green is not typically my color. I find that um, kind of makes me look odd. So I did put on a little bit of stick foundation this morning just, just to make sure that I wasn't giving me oddball look, um, that, that oddball sickly look. So I put on a little bit of foundation. Now I have this extra long tail here. It's fine, no worries. Now I'm going to take my friend here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the, except I'm not folding over any. I'm not folding over any at all. Don't put all in it, don't put all in it, don't put all in it. I just stuck my finger through it. Um, I Right here in this space here and I'm just working it out so that, uh, I gotta be more gentle. So, all right. And if you flip it on my head, I want the short tail here, long tail here. And I flipped it too much. <laughs> That's always fun. Okay, so. Okay. And back 
this way. Let's see if the tail is good sized. A little bit shorter. Okay. Always check first before I do the knot because it's a pain to have to undo and redo. It's easier just to just to check it out. Okay. Underneath. And then, yes, perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to tie the knot the same way. It's with the short tail coming out the bottom. And I'll spin around really quick so we have the two scars right here. Okay. Now for wrapping around. I'm going to take these guys and fold them in thirds. I always fold in the back first and then the front because I don't like to get that, take the chance on this coming forward and showing out the front. This is, it gets caught in the pocket. Just like so. Okay. Fold it into thirds, bringing it over making sure to leave some of this showing. Now, when I get to this point, trying to keep this flat, I'm going to give it one twist, like so. Keeping it flat, I'm going to bring it around the back. Find the pocket, and I'm going to tuck it in. Hiding away all those tassely edges. Okay. Open that up just a bit. Okay. Okay, so you see I have. Hi, Micah. Hi, my buddy. I now have both babies in here, so. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Have to take a cat scratch break, so you might, can't see him back there, but. Hey, buddy. Come here. What? Luna's up there. Luna's up there. <laughs> you wanna come up and say hello? Here. No, you don't need to stalk the curtain rod. Here he is, this big boy. One year ago, I could hold him in my hand. He was so tiny. Go see your friend. There you go. I was I was holding him and he was just just as big. So now he's huge, so grown up. Okay. Now for this guy, I am not bothering to do any folding. I'm just plopping it on my shoulder like so. And then I'm gonna bring it up, making sure to leave some of the green showing so you can see the, like that. I'm going to be bringing it at an angle and I'm bringing it behind this twist here. Here's the first twist. I'm gonna bring it behind that twist and I'm gonna do the same thing only behind. I don't want to cover up the first twist. And then I'm going to keep it flat around the back. And then just like so. So this is today's, today's look. So I'm kind of digging the, kind of digging the green and the purple. You know, if I'm not ex super, super pleased, too much, um, too, that's not what I meant to say. If I'm not happy with the way this looks, I can adjust the scarf forward or backward, just to make sure this comes back at an angle that I'm happy with. Okay, same thing right here with this. But, um, oh my goodness, I have, cat fur stuck to my face because I forgot to put setting powder on after um, after I put on the the base today. 
And I am going to grab a small pair of earrings, not those. And I'm going to wear a cute pair of earrings if I can find the ones I want. Oh my goodness, I don't wear enough earrings. I like them. Okay, so something simple. I think these would be pretty, but I think they're a little heavy. We shall wear little leaves. I think, I think maybe the leaves. Either leaves, not leaves, leaves. Oh, these are totally fun. These guys here are totally fun. Um, let's see. Nothing in here. Okay. This is what I get for spreading out my earrings. these guys here. I think this might work. So these guys here. I think these will be pretty. They're small and they're light, but they're sparkly. So they're in keeping with the whole sparkly fun. of today's look. All right. So I hope you ladies enjoyed the tutorial. I'm going to get moving and <laughs> get moving to get moving. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. I will see you in the next tutorial.